What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to another Football Manager 2019 countdown and today we're counting down the top 10 players in the world according to the FM19 database. Yes, hopefully you do enjoy this video. Before it begins, go down in the comments, write down the top 10 players in your opinion in the world, see how it lines up with the database at the end of the video. Hopefully you do enjoy this and uh, well without further ado, let's get into the countdown. So guys, coming in at number 10 in this countdown, we have Eden Hazard of Chelsea, the 27-year-old Belgium's current ability is 179 out of 200. That is tied with David Silva, however, in the event of a tiebreaker in this countdown, we are going to go off world reputation, and as a result, Hazard here does claim the number 10 spot. Obviously, an incredibly talented player, the 27-year-old Belgium, uh, incredible physicals, Eva footed described in-game as an elite winger, has some crazy player traits, valued at £80 million, yes, not a small fee. It's interesting to see how the values of players in FM terms have gone up with the recent kind of crazy prices being paid in modern football. Of course, a player who consistently gets double-figure goals for Chelsea, regularly involved with assists as well. Not entirely surprising, but yes, number 10, Eden Hazard. In at number 9 guys we have Mohamed Salah of Liverpool, one of three players who has a current ability of 180 and well I think off the back of last season the biased Liverpool fan in me wants to say he deserves it. I know some people might question is he still just a one season wonder but I feel like when you consider the seasons he did have at Roma previously and given just how crazy his season was at Liverpool last year he has kind of earned the right to have an ability as good as he is. You know if you realistically want him to put in numbers like he did last season in real life he's got to have attributes like this the standout ones really 18 finishing 18 off the ball that crazy pace that Salah is known for some great player preferred moves as well you can see here the game has him down as a right winger but he can play in the center as a striker somewhat competently as an attacking midfielder and also out on the left 26 years old one of the best wingers in the game and uh yeah I mean last season he was superb so perhaps not entirely surprising in at number 8 guys we have David De Gea of of course Manchester United, another player on 180 current ability and the second best goalkeeper in the world according to Football Manager. I feel like goalkeepers as a whole there are so many good ones around in world football at the moment. I'd be interested to know your top two goalkeepers but yes De Gea considered the second best goalkeeper in the database. I feel like the standout attribute for him is his reflexes but looking at it here 18 handling is superb and uh, 16 aerial reach very very solid as well. Game really rates his physicals. Aerial-wise, not necessarily the best goalkeeper when it comes to raw aerial ability, but his shot-stopping is superb. Also has the personality of model citizen, which is a very, very good one. Not that kind of widely seen. Of course, in one of the last years of his contract at Manchester United in real life, we'll be interested to see if he moves on. And of course, a player who had an iffy start to his time at United, but really over the last seven or eight years has cemented himself as one of the best goalkeepers in world football. In at number seven, it's another player who somewhat tickles my Liverpool fan heartstrings. Of course, Luis Suarez, 31 years old. What does that even mean? Tickles my Liverpool... Ignore the fact I just said that. Let's look at this Uruguayan beast. I've used the word beast unironically. Please help me. He looks very good though, doesn't he? Let's be honest. I was surprised that Luis Suarez had the same rating as Salah, current ability-wise. I actually think Luis Suarez perhaps deserved to be ever so slightly better. Perhaps um, somewhat, you know, in the shadow of Messi when it comes to current ability at Barcelona. But you can can see here a player who has just had crazy goal scoring seasons year after year didn't quite match the 40 goal haul he got back in 2015-16 but in terms of raw strikers he is pretty much the best out and out striker in this list you know there is a few players coming up who can play striker but for me Luis Suarez in terms of more conventional strikers is right up there as one of the best professional uh, perfectionist personality player traits Definitely deserves the argues with officials one. But besides that, just a, such a well-rounded player looking at it here. His determination is standout. He's finishing one of the strongest elements of his game. That 18 flair, 17 off the ball. His physicals, not necessarily the craziest compared to some of the players in this list. But his technical ability is pretty unrivaled as far as strikers go in FM. In at number 6, guys, we have Gareth Bale of Real Madrid. I'll be honest, I am surprised that Bale is this highly rated by the game, but he has a current ability 
of 182. I feel like his physicals play a massive role in that. They eat up a lot of his current ability. Of course, Bale, a player known for that raw speed, strength and stamina that he has. Uh, with Ronaldo moving on to Juventus, it's going to be interesting to see if he has more of a role to play in the first team. Technically, very, very gifted in the air. He is superb. In FM terms, he's one of the most complete players, I think, in the entire game. At 28 years old, a few years left in the tank. Massive wages, valued at £81 million. Of course, has had his fair share of injuries, which is one of the reasons why I thought his current ability might be a little bit lower. I mean, do I think Gareth Bale's better than... Luis Suarez, I feel like that might be up for debate a little bit. But regardless, despite not necessarily playing a ton of games each and every season, Bale is undisputably one of the best players in world football. Uh, the Welshman, you can see, able to naturally play across all the attacking midfield positions, across the slightly deeper positions as well. Obviously, a little, a little bit of a throwback to when he used to play left-back back at junior level, but with his current defensive ability, you don't really want him there. You want to use that raw physical ability and technical giftedness he has to full effect in the final third. In at number five and considered the best player in the Premier League in Football Manager, we have Kevin De Bruyne of Manchester City. What a player this guy is. Professional personality, either-footed. One of a few centre mids in this list. And, uh, well, what a centre mid he is. You can see an elite attacking midfielder, his description. I feel like his passing and vision, just the standout attributes here. What a playmaker he is. 19 passing, 19 vision. Physical's not the craziest. You know, if you compare them to the likes of Salah and Bale, doesn't have that in his locker. But that's not very really what Kevin De Bruyne is about. Kevin De Bruyne is an incredible incredibly intelligent footballer with just absolutely crazy technicals and they are shown uh, in spate you can see here in FM. His finishing of 16 is very very solid as well. In terms of attributes that don't stand out so much, uh, I mean defensively he's never really been that kind of player. Bravery I'm kind of surprised that's as low as it is. Uh, his teamwork I think could be a little bit higher but regardless what a player he is. As I said the best player in the Premier League. Not necessarily that out-and-out -out goal scorer, but as a creative player, um, he is just one of the best passers of the ball in world football. And of course, he does come in at number five with a current ability of 186. Coming in at number four, guys, we have Neymar of PSG. What a player this guy is. He has left Spain to move out of the Messi and Ronaldo shadow. He is the best player in French football uh, in terms of in league. Uh, and I mean, what a player he is. 20 dribbling, 19 flair, 19 off the ball. Kind of has the shades of the old Messi. Perfectionist personality, elite winger, his description. Natural striker, centre attacker mid, and winger. I feel like most people would consider Neymar more of a winger than anything else. One of the highest earning players in the game as well. £625,000 a week. The best Brazilian player in the game. Of course, last year chipped in with 19 goals in 20 appearances for PSG. Prior to that was obviously a mainstay of the Barcelona first team. Uh, where, of course, he moved from for £50 million the world's most expensive player. Unsurprising that he's this high in this list. And well, speaking of the best, in at number three, we have the best goalkeeper in FM19. It is Manuel Neuer of Bayern Munich, of course. I mean, I feel like we should compare him to De Gea as a starting point here. So when you look at the two players, there is a difference in their current ability. De Gea's is 180 this guy Neuer's 190, and well, it really does show. Look how good he is at certain parts of his game. Perhaps not quite as good physically, and uh, well, aerially, perhaps not as good as either, or with his handling, but a player known for his ability with the ball at his feet. 20 rush rushing out, 20 throwing, 20 composure, 20 there's 20s everywhere. Um, you can see here, kicking of 19 as well, commanding of area of 19. There are more 19 and 20s here than a Saturday night out on the town. Let's put it that way. He is superb, either footed, world-class goalkeeper, um, the best goalkeeper, the best player in the Bundesliga as well, unsurprisingly. Uh, 32 years old, so maybe we'll start to see him fall down this list in future years. Of course, has had a few issues with injury over the last year, but despite those, he remains the best goalkeeper in the world. What do you think? I mentioned it earlier. Who are the best goalkeepers in the world? Is Neuer the best? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So guys, the top two, not so surprising. Number two, Cristiano Ronaldo. I feel like everyone knew it was going to be Ronaldo and Messi. I will say now, they both have 195 current ability. Messi wins the tiebreaker of world reputation, 10,000. 
to 9,900. There is not a lot in these guys. I don't want this to turn into a Messi v Ronaldo debate in the chat and in the comments. I know that it's going to. I've emotionally prepared myself for that. But yeah, Ronaldo here. I talked about the fact Suarez is probably the best of the traditional strikers. I think the only other players that could really rival that him would be Ronaldo and Neymar. But I kind of like to think of them more as players out wide. I feel like Ronaldo this year for Juve probably will play more down the middle. And while looking at Ronaldo here, 20 finishing, 20 long shots, 20 penalty taking, 20 determination, perfectionist personality, legendary striker. At 33 years old, he is not tailing off. And I think that is very representative of how good he is just in real life. He is absolutely superb. Mentals are top notch. Aerial ability leaps like a salmon. Heads like... Who do, he, he heads like Zidane in a World Cup final. Uh, just a great player all in all. Um, valued at, obviously... Uh, you can see here, £68 million. His wages are absolutely mental, as they're going to be in real life. A player who I'm kind of surprised left Real Madrid, but he did. The £94 million fee might have seemed bonkers a few years ago, particularly for a 33-year-old, but it is where we're at in terms of modern football. And, uh, well, what a player he is. Attempts overhead kicks as a player trait. I think that's fair enough. Shoots with power, shoots from distance. I mean, he has 20 long shots. Of course, he's going to shoot from distance. Great player. Obviously, not a lot between him and Messi. In at number two in this countdown, second best player in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo. And finally, guys, in at number one, it's Messi. I know that the Messi-Ronaldo debate will go on forever. As I said, they both have the exact same current ability of 195 out of 200. The world rep kind of divide the way of kind of separating the two and deciding tiebreakers I know is always going to be controversial it's the way I've chosen to do it here I mean when you look at Messi the the 20s are all over the place 20 dribbling 20 finishing 20 passing 20 technique 20 vision 20 flair 20 determination 20 decisions 20 agility 20 balance I mean I feel tired just saying all those 20s what a player this guy is without a doubt alongside Ronaldo two, two of the best players ever in the history of football Valued at £85 million, a player who last season got 34 goals. I mean, look at his goal-scoring record. It's not even funny just how ridiculously good he's been at his whole career for Barcelona. And um, yeah, what a player he is. You can see here, naturally he can play out on the right, centre attacking mid, or as a striker. The best player in terms of raw creativity. Vision here, made up of passing, vision, and flair. He has 20 in every single one. His technicals... So close to being perfect, that first touch just letting him down a smidge. And, uh, well, when it comes to his attacking off the ball and um, concentra uh, composure, the two that aren't 20s to max that one out. So, yeah, what a player he is. I'd be curious to know, as I've gone through these players, are there any that you feel like had stats that weren't quite right? Looking at Messi here, is there anything that you change about him? Um, I feel like it's always interesting to have debates about player attributes in FM if there's been any that you've seen in this video, um, let me know them down in the comments. Anyway, guys, that does wrap up this countdown from me of the 10 best players in world football, according to the Football Manager database. I do hope you enjoyed this. Let me know your personal top 10 down in the comments. Maybe this list has influenced what you wrote at the start of the video. Are there any ones that you massively agree or disagree with? That would be something I'd lo love to hear more of in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video, do leave a like. If there's any other countdowns you'd like to see in the future, let me know them down in the comments. And yeah, that is all from me. Thank you for watching, guys. It is me, Jack. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.